Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 of Uzumaki. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, fuck it. I'm just watching it with the dub now today. Okay. Keyword is now. Well, I mean, yeah, like... <laughs> Now, once again, ever since, why don't you get the fuck out? Get the fuck out. Yeah, nothing wrong. Not suspicious or anything, you know. Why are we looking up our nose like that? Well, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what type. It's very obvious what it is. No, no. <laughs> That's your clue. Take her and get the fuck out. Remember, she's pregnant. Oh, sure, Kiri. That's a problem. Get the fuck out. Oh, yeah, remember when the lighthouse was trying to go? <laughs> Last week in a nutshell. Oh, Jesus.
Oh God, not this part. Oh. Here we go. Step, 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 step. <laughs> Get out. Girl, that person Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you shouldn't have come out. I permanently Excuse me. I just want to know how the hell pregnant women run so damn fast. Hey, don't ask Keiko for help, damn it. Once again, you see how fast they ran? Hell nah. Oh, it's time. Well, wow. see, look how all normal and cool they are. <laughs> no. You see her face, goddamn. <laughs> I get it, yeah. No.
you know what you have to do. Oh, it's too late now. What's done is done. Just like that. Really feel for Suichi having not only like first losing your dad, then your mom now recently to the fucking spiral. Jesus Christ, man. Once again, like <laughs> Kiri, you wanna leave? You wanna go start our life together somewhere else? Bitch, let's go. <laughs> Get my girl the fuck out, please. And now y'all all eating them too. That shit is fucking nuts. Once again, get the fuck out. <laughs> get out. Get the fuck out.
It's not. No. Get the fuck out, please. Oh, God, no. Sweetie, you don't want to do that. <laughs> it's dangerous. Get the fuck out. Now, why are you going to go look? Oh, wait, hold on. It's too dangerous to be out here.
Oh, go! Well, <laughs> get the hell <laughs> you lying, ma'am. <laughs> Don't touch her. Right? Uh, you know, why are you a little excited about that? See? Red flag. Red motherfucking flag. Holy shit.
<laughs> oh shit, all his organs. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this episode, honestly. It, it's funny because I think what, after episode two, as we talked about, the quan the quality went from high to very, very low. Like, the bar was set from episode two, and everybody was like, what the freak happened to this? I, I think, excuse me, with this episode, because it is the same studio that did episode two, this episode was a little bit better in the quality and such, and how they were, you know, interacting with the last couple of chapters and such, leading up until, up into our final act, because, you know, this weekend is the last episode and such. Um, once again, I will say, the pacing is the one thing that really messes us up. That's why, since first freaking episode, even week before, Damn worm. You know those worms that have like all the hairs and uh, uh, uh. that's all they're gonna say. Okay, okay. So here here's my biggest issue. Um going into this last episode, are they going to end it exactly? how the series is ending, ended and such. Um, we can't really, I can't really talk to you about that unless you've read the book and such. Um, because it, it is a, I'll, I'll say this. The ending is one of those endings where like the first time where I read it, I, I didn't like it. But now like older and the more of the times when I go back and look at it, I'm okay with, I'm satisfied with the ending. I just hate what happens i will still hate what happens because it was something i did not want to happen but we all kind of knew with this town and with the spiral and with the the grasp that it has on people we automatic you kind of automatically knew and such um yeah the the kills the even the the placenta the uh, the mosquito bites everything else once again, damn good. Even the heart, the, the freaking tsunami and everything. The cyclone? Cyclone? Tsunami? Yeah. Yeah. English dub part was not really bad. I mean, like, I thought I had it in Japanese, but no. But no, 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 no. Robbie Damon, you did a damn good job in this. Uh, you know, what, like, my biggest thing is probably when I'm done watching this, I am going to rewatch the whole thing back to back in English and, and such. And then knowing me, I'm probably going to have my mom watch this and be like, hey, what do you think about this? Because this is one thing that I really wanted my mother to watch because my mom has seen the, um, the horror shark movie that's also by Junji Ito. She didn't really like it as much. Um, when I finished it with her, she was like, what the heck did you make me watch? I was like, well, it's a horror movie, mommy, but it's an anime horror movie. It's just not what you think it was. And, and, and ish. Um, she's watched, like, a couple of episodes of the Junji Ito collection. She hasn't watched the, the Maniac series for Netflix and such. She's only really just watched, like, stuff here and there. Only, I've only shown her, like, personal favorite episodes and such. But, yeah, like, even when we were watching Junji Ito collection, she, she didn't like the quality of how that was. And I was like, yeah, I feel like there still is not, at that time, a studio that was able to do something to honor his work in a good way and, and i feel like once again pr this this crew even with this situation of happening in episode two i still think even though it is a, a different studio from episode one and such and i'm secretly hoping that the people who did episode one were the ones who do episode four because then we'll see the big big difference and such because it's like <coughs> ew i hate when i do that once again high budget is fuck for episode one then we get to two and three. What the fuck is four about to be about and such? Because this is the grand finale. This is when, you know, 
I think when we were all reading this the first time, we were all those questions that we were wondering, reading and reading, finally getting answered, but you're still confused at the end of the day. But no, once again, as I said in episode one, all of this shit wouldn't be happening to Kiki and Suichi if they would have fucking left. Because if it was me, the first thing that happens to me, I'm out. I find out some. You come up to me. Let's like say, what's her face? Who had the freaking birthmark on her mother after forehead? You have a spider girl. We done. We done. I don't need to know anything else. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm going to go home. I'm going to get as much money as I can. I'm going to pack up my ish. I'm going to be like, screw my TV. Screw this. Screw the personal belongings. I'm just packing up some clothes and I'm getting the fuck out of here. And you will never see me again. But... We can't talk about that one situation yet. We'll talk about that this weekend. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode three of Uzumaki. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys on Saturday for the final episode of this series. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.